hello friends, or at least that's what I would say if you were my friend. No, you are my friend. If I was on the React em Ups channel where I start every video by saying hello friends. Have you seen this channel? It's my brand new channel while I talk about stuff like what I'm doing right now. I react to things. And I was going to make this video for that channel, but then decided, no, this is too good to not show everybody, and it's also Nintendo themed. You're gonna love it. New Nintendo hardware. When's it coming? What's it gonna look like? Oh, it, it's a clock. This is Nintendo Sound Clock Alarmo. This is the most Nintendo product that could Nintendo. I wanna say that I feel like this is something the Switch 2 could have just done. We talked about what I want from the Switch 2. The idea of a dock that was open face and you can put the Switch onto and it would tell you like the time or like the weather and things like that. As much as this Alamo thing is cool, at the same time, I'm like, man, this is such a missed opportunity. It could open one big ecosystem, but rather than that, we have to buy an extra $100 alarm clock. And again, the alarm clock, I actually do think it's pretty cool and cute and unique. I'm just envisioning this world where the Switch 2 could have been that. It just feels like a missed opportunity already. Let's see what it's like to wake up with Alarmo. Yeah. Oh, do you hear that? The alarm is going off. The very jaded 34-year-old in me wants to point out that whatever sound plays in the morning to wake me up out of my beautiful dreams to tell me it's time to go work out, which is what I was on the way to do actually when I saw this video that I wanted to react to. Sorry about the tank top. I end up hating that sound. Tell me how you feel about this sound. You want me to stop it? Uh, uh, tr trust me, it's also boring a hole into my brain. What a peaceful little cute melody that I would want to rip my hands into and pull its guts out if it was a human being. I hate that sound so much. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to hear Mario wake up or Zelda wake up. Beautiful music before I start to absolutely dread the sound. And then imagine going to replay your classic games and you're just eye twitching through the whole gameplay experience. Alarmo doesn't just play music to start your day. That's right. It responds to your body's movement with game sounds. Again, I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. Maybe if I was a kid, this would be so cute. When my alarm is going off in the morning, I want to turn it off instantly because I want that extra five minutes of sleep. And the only thing worse I can think of than the alarm will not turn off is every time I move, it'll play a different sound. Ding, 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 ding. Like just five more minutes. Ding, 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 ding. Please, I just, I got, I got such a long day ahead of me. I didn't get to bed till 3 a.m. and it's ding, 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 ding. I don't know. That sounds like a lot. With the sound of coins from Super Mario Odyssey. I mean, she looked very happy and peaceful. Like that was not annoying her in the slightest. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's really calming. Or here. This is such an aggressive sound to wake up to. <laughs> God, doesn't that sound annoying as hell? How did you sleep? Nice and peaceful, I hope. <laughs> it's just waking up to an active war zone. Oh, nothing quite like a Nintendo morning. God, he looks, dude, honestly, thousand yard stare. From The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, the music combines with sound effects created by your movement. So you can start the day feeling like you're in the kingdom of Hyrule. Not as bad as the Splatoon one. I feel like I would get sick of it, especially the rupee dinging sound. Can I stress to, again, this poor guy that had to wake up with the Splatoon one. Notice the difference in all three of their attitudes. Like he really does look like he's just been through hell. Lovely room though, can I say? The aesthetics in that room, the light ray through the window. I wouldn't even need an alarm if I woke up in that room. I'd be up on my own just to stare out the window. It's beautiful. A fanfare plays and the alarm comes to an end. The idea, the concept of an alarm that I, 
I don't think it works like this, but only turns off once you finally get out of bed. Oh, shoot me. Because I, I take so long to get out of I need like four alarms. I need to hit snooze at least three times to feel like I've got a good amount of sleep in the morning. She's out of bed in one minute. That is superhuman. This is just me outing myself, but that is superhuman. I have never in my life had my alarm gone off and gotten out of bed in a minute, let alone with the expression she had of boom, I'm ready to start my day. I take half an hour to get out of bed and then I look like somebody just died. Maybe I need this alarm clock. Alarmo detects movement with its motion sensor. And responds to your actions with sounds. Yeah. I've been goofing on it a lot. I think this is definitely something for children. That said, I ordered it express shipping and it will be here in two days. <laughs> so, but it's definitely for children and, and kids. I think even the people in this commercial are a little too old for it, if I'm being for real. And maybe I'm off base. Here's another thing you might not have thought of. I'm married. And I know, I know you probably didn't think of that because it's it comes as a shock to a lot. <laughs> people. How is it going to work with two people? For one. Two, even if it does work, imagine the sheer joy on my wife's face every morning while I'm tossing and turning in an active war battlefield or even while coins are flipping and links picking up rupees all day long while I'm tossing and turning and ding, 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 blast and bam, bam, bam. I don't think she's gonna like that very much. Also, it will see me get up, right? I'm assuming, hopefully, well, but Kim will still be lying there. Will it keep going? Like if Kim moves, will this thing go? I'm not really sure how this works with two people, but I, it, it, even if we assume it does work and it only tracks one of the people, God, that would be so annoying for the other person, right? When you get out of bed, Alarmo stops automatically without you needing to touch it. Keep in mind though, the alarm will get more intense the longer it takes God. for you to get up. Really? It's been 20 minutes, you get hit with the... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's been half an hour and you have the Zelda one on and then out of nowhere you hear this. As you move a little, you, it, it gets the lineup laser sound. Oh, terrifying. You can pick many different alarms and then they talk about how you can download more later. Uh-oh, I knew these guys would show up. We've been having some fun here, but I do think the last thing I want to hear in the morning from my alarm clock or anybody is, Uh-oh, I knew these guys would show up. In my room? Sleepy sounds, which play when you get into bed and help you wind down. Again, this is like perfect human being stuff, which is fine. It's just not me. But when I get into bed, I'm usually getting into bed to watch TV with Kim for like two hours. I know that's a horrible sleeping pattern and we probably should work on that. But I really don't want to go to bed and immediately have my alarm clock start singing me a lullaby the second I lie down. Like I haven't done the wordle yet. So if this thing starts playing sleepy sounds, trying to usher me into the great beyond, the great beyond. What am I dying? That's not your place. I will tell you when I'm ready for my sleepy sounds. Records, which keep a log of your sleep and movement while in bed. That I'm interested in. Nintendo has this weird fascination with my sleep. They had the, the Pokemon sleep to track my sleep. Now they're tracking the movements of my sleep. What is with Nintendo and Pokemon lately really trying to monetize and turn my sleep into a video game? It is a little bizarre and it is cutesy at the same time and I'm okay with what what's happening, but it is a little like cyberpunky. Like you have the brain chips in your head and they, they show you adverts while you're sleeping, right? That's always been a fear is that you won't be able to sleep without dreaming of a T-Mobile ad. We're seeing like that begin now in a way. We're playing video games as we sleep, which sounds fun, but it's all ways that these companies can make money from us sleeping. Selling us a $100 alarm clock that you have to have a paid subscription for. Selling us an, an app with microtransactions that you can get little Pokemon if you sleep good enough. My sleep doesn't have to be monetized, you know? No, it doesn't have to be. That said, I just bought this, so. You don't want to see me in the morning, Nintendo. I'm like this. I'm all covered in snot and bugs. So to begin with, you can only order this thing if you have a Nintendo account or if you go to Nintendo New York. No, Nintendo New York's only a couple hours from me. I could go and pick one up literally today, but it's my birthday tomorrow. I'm not driving into New York last minute, so I just ordered one online and it'll be here in a couple of days. So until 2025, you can only get it through these methods and then I think it'll just open up. Cool. I have ordered one and I will uh, 
I play with it, sleep with it. I will sleep with Nintendo, which ironically is something that everybody has been accusing me of for the last 10 years anyway. But I will continue to sleep with Nintendo uh, over the weekend and I'll report back with if it was good for me. Does that sound bad? That didn't sound bad, right? I'm just buying an alarm clock. What are you thinking? I've been goofing on it because it is funny. You know, we've been expecting the Switch 2 for so long. Some new hardware. We finally get the hardware and it's a clock. It's too funny not to goof on it, but I'm going to check it out. I'm going to give it an honest shot and see if it's if it's worth it, if it is for kids. And if it's for kids, that's fine. I mean, there are products for kids and that's okay. I will review it with that mentality going into it. Initially, I was going to make this video for react em ups my new channel that I started where I'm just reacting to gaming stuff over there. But I am trying to keep Nintendo away from them. And as I was recording this, I had a lot of fun. I kind of think that my beat em ups audience will probably appreciate seeing this video anyway. That's why I'm on the main channel. This video, what I did here today, I'm doing this like every day over on the React em ups channel. And it's been a ton of fun. And I want to thank everybody that's come over there and has been checking it out. Everyone's saying such nice things about the channel and how it just feels more down to earth and like old school YouTube. And that's really what I want that to be. That being said, this is still my main channel and it's still my favorite place to create content because I do such bigger, grander projects here. But it just, it gives you something a little different over there. So go check it out for me. I'd appreciate it. Oh, thank you. We're about to hit 10,000 subs. All right, guys. I love you all. Thanks so much. And I will, uh, I'll see you in a few days, hopefully with this alarm clock.